Today we are making a video on Esnix OS X1 XFC desktop spin. Not a desktop spin, it's a XFC desktop environment. So I randomly found this uh, Linux distro on the source forge. So I don't even know uh, what is uh, available in this uh, Linux distro. It's a Debian based Linux distro, which is a bullseye Debian 11. So let's uh, explore uh, with you. So here is the live boot and the here is the installation. Uh, you can directly use it and the advanced install options are these things so these are all same in the same as the Debian 11 so on the utilities you have a HTT so let's boot it in a live boot uh, by clicking on live AMD 64 and it should take like a maximum of uh, 1 minute or uh, minimum of 30 to 40 seconds to load up the desktop layout so I randomly found this Linux distro I don't know anything, uh, I don't even know any information of this Linux distro. So let's check it out uh, with you. So again, I forgot to mention that I'm using a virtualization which is a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk and 4 GB of RAM and with two processors running. And uh, I'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day. So I already posted a video. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this uh, content. So it should be taking like a few more seconds, I guess, because that's the usual timing of every Linux distro, which takes uh, only some uh, weird Linux or the bad Linux distro will take a lot of time. Uh, sometimes even the uh, development version, beta version will also take uh, because that's a common thing in a beta or uh, uh, testing editions uh, because they're in a development version. So it's OK to take that much time. But the stable version, uh, if it takes, uh, that's the problem there. For example, like a Debian, uh, deep in Linux, that's a Linux distro, which takes a lot of time to boot up. And you should always complete to, uh, you should uh, compulsory install it. Uh, you don't get a live boot. That's the main problem with the deep in Linux. So again, here is the desktop layout completely loaded. So let's uh, change the display resolution first. I'm using a VMware. so. So let's first change the display setting by going to display and let's change the display resolution which is a 1920 into 1080 i don't think there is a 1920 into 1080 available right here there is nothing available here so let's change the resolution to which is a 16 is to 9 ratio uh, 1360 into 768 it should be a bit of uh, bad resolution because we, we, there is no uh, 1920 into 1080 resolution there you can change the uh, resolution by typing the command i don't want to do that i want to keep the uh, with the 1316 to 768 resolution let's check out the distro and explore what is this uh, esnix os let's first check out the system monitor and see how much resources are consuming right now so here is the task manager or the system monitor let's check the version which is a 1.4.0 so right now cpu is going around like 40 percent under 40 percent and the ram is a 8 or 900 mb and it's xfc desktop environment so the ram should be a bit low because lxqt lxde and the xfc are the lightweight desktop environments so these are the ram consuming and this is the cpu and this is the uh, process running right now try to remember everything because uh, i'm going to open the uh, system monitor or task manager again at the end of the video after going through all the settings features and applications so you should uh, judge on your own to use this linux distro or not and you should be having an idea of uh, how much resources and process and cpu all the things at the end of the video so remember these things or write it down the uh, numbers here or just to put the video side by side if you don't like to, to do all these things uh, just put the video at the beginning of the video and the end of the video side by side and uh, compare the CPU and RAM usage so let's close this thing and open the terminal to get complete information of the distro the terminal version is uh, 0 0.8.10 so let's type in the command which is inxi-sv8 which will grab complete distro information so let's first change the preference and uh, terminal color 
so we have a presets here let's go with the black and white let's scroll it upside and the system is host debian a kernel is a 5.10 and the latest kernel release is a 6.3 so and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler gcc version is a 10.2.1 so desktop environment is a xfce 4.16.0 the latest version of xfce is a 4.18.4 so tk gtk version is a 3.24.24 light dm version is a 1.26.0 it destroys a debian new linux 11 bullseye and a machine is a VMware. It says VMware because I'm running it on a VMware. So it says a VMware as the machine. And BIOS Phenox version is a 6.00. And RAM consuming is a 927 MB of a 4 GB of RAM. I already mentioned that I'm running a 4 GB of RAM for the VMware. I'm using 4 GB of RAM. So here is the CPU information. If you want to check that out, you can check that out uh, by pausing the video. Let's scroll it down and find some of the other information. On the graphics, VMWGFX version 2.18.0 and the display is a X11, server is a X.org 1.20.11 and the under the monitor you get a display resolution of uh, this thing. We just get, uh, we will get just a few resolutions. If you want to get uh, your uh, desired uh, resolution, you need to type in commands for that so llvm version uh, is a 4.1 mesa is a 20.3.5 so let's scroll it down and uh, under audio you don't get anything here it's okay elsa version is a k5.10.0.21 so let's scroll it down i'm using 80 gb of hard disk for my vmware so it says 80 gb here so let's scroll it down and uh, process running right now are 278 uptime is a 4 minute wake ups are 21 init system d version is a 247 and compiler gcc is a 10.2.1 which i already said or mentioned shell bash version is a 5.1.4 and inxi version is a 3.3.01 so let me type in some of the uh, commands which will get the same information as the above but in a short form which is uh, inxi the other one is uh, inxi dash b small b uh, the another one is uh, inxi dash capital g click on enter these are all the same information but in a short form as the above one so let's type in other command which is a uh, cat forlorn slash etc forlorn slash issue hit enter it's a debian new linux 11 so let's type in neofetch if it's uh, pre-installed neofetch is also available you can uh, check that out by pausing the video let's type in htop let's check out htop is also pre-installed so it's pretty good here is the memory ram task r88 here is the cpu so here are some of the information let's uh, close this window Let's open the uh, web browser and uh, let me show you their official website. So I don't think they have uh, their own website. Uh, I found it on a source forge, so it should be available in a source forge. And here is our Firefox web browser uh, loaded completely. So let's check out the version of the Firefox first and uh, go to the downloading process and the official website. About the Firefox is uh, 102.9 the latest version is a 3112 and it's a 64 bit so let's type in the system which is a snix os so let's uh, click on enter that's the system you need to click on it so this is the uh, download links there is also osdn to download and this is the operating system or the linux distro as nix os customized debian uh, bullseye here is uh, some of the information the uh, credential for the live media is a uh, username is a user and the password is a live you can download it uh, in the osdn also there is also osdn and a source forge here are the features here are the uh, wallpapers or the uh, screenshots of the linux distro let's go to the files 
and here is the uh, two desktop environments available to download and they are also latest as you can see there is a 2023-04-01 which is a april edition so most people downloaded the xfce and some people download the 14 there is not no uh, big difference here just a six people or a six downloads difference let's go with the xfc because i downloaded the xfc so the iso file is around like a 2 gb and this is the iso file some of the information here let's go back to parental folder or parent folder let's go to the kde plasma and check out the file size of the kde plasma also uh, it's almost a 2.7 gb it's clearly up to you to choose uh, which desktop environment you want so let's click on download and here is the download it's not a download it downloaded something uh, like a html file you should be having a download in a few seconds i guess here is the iso file uh, which is a uh, 2.5 gb means uh, it's a uh, xfc i guess uh, if you don't know what you're downloading here just to go to the separate folder so let's go back again uh, if you want a kd plasma desktop environment go to the kd plasma and download if you want xfc just go to the xfc and uh, click on the iso file which is here it will trigger the download and you should be having your download in any second it takes like a five seconds usually here is our download so that's the website and the downloading process let's close this thing and here is the folder of uh, as nix os it's a thunar file manager which is a 4.16.8 so let's check out the desktop features which is a date and time notifications power or battery volumes status service of hplip internet connection and language and about panels 4.16.2 try to ignore the background noise because uh, construction and uh, some people are going crazy around my neighborhood always about xfc here is some of the information so let's check out what are the pre-installed apps which comes with the uh, snix os so almost everything is uh, available from the xfc desktop environment i don't think there is uh, any special app from the asnix os here let's open some of the apps and uh, open the task manager and end the video so there is not a uh, much of thing here so here is a theme i think this is the theme from the asnix os i guess let's try to change the desktop wallpapers if it's available there are plenty of wallpapers available some of them should be like from debian these are some good wallpapers everything is uh, for nature uh, which is uh, if the resolution was good the wallpaper will be also good there are best wallpapers available right here there are pleasing to eyes this is also a good one you can customize on your own so there are a lot of good wallpapers as you can see this one is the best one so let me keep this thing until uh, we end the video so these are all the pre-installed apps i showed the firefox version already let's open the gimp version and on the applications let's open even some of the apps this is a snx os app if you want to check that out you can check that out you, you need to enter the uh, numbers or the alphabets here to start the process so let's check out the gimp version which should be 2.10.22 so let's close this thing what else we left system let's open uh, Snaptic package manager on the system what else we left here is uh, i don't think we don't have anything to open here so let's open something some just important apps like a library office and uh, a trill document viewer and a dictionary so let's check out some of the information and open the task manager and end the video here is the version library office here is the version 
i open uh, and show the information because some people want to know the uh, version of the apps uh, that's the reason i show the apps and apps version for some of the people because they want to know what the version will uh, that uh, linux distro will have so here is the package manager i'm going to run through uh, this uh, uh, package manager very fast or uh, in a fast way so if you want to slow it down you can change the settings by going to youtube settings and change the playback speed to 1 to uh, 0.25 it will be 1 and you need to change to 0.25 to see what uh, the installed packages are the installed packages will be highlighted like a tick mark and the installed version will be like this so that's the tip here so i think we covered everything i guess so there is nothing to open here just a simple screen recorder uh, internet we opened everything graphics gimp just uh, image viewer we covered everything so let's open the task manager and check out the resources after using this thing it's like a 200 or 300 mb extra right now uh, we didn't open that many apps just a few apps so it's still the lightweight uh, linux distro it's clearly up to you to you uh, to choose this linux distro or not uh, it's a live boot so it has a live boot option so you always boot it in a live boot uh, and uh, use it for like a good up to three to four hours if you find any bugs uh, just uh, delete this uh, iso file if you find good or if it work for you if you want to use it you can use it on your own always install the linux distro after you satisfied without any bugs and use it for three to four hours so that's the tip because i don't want you to ruin your pc that's the uh, reason i'm always going to say it you always use it in a live boot so these are the uh, C cpu resources and ram resources so i think that's the end of the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video sorry because i'm uh, tired bit of tired so i'm be stuttering somewhat so again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out i already made another video so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video